Welcome back to the Critic Sub. This is Gigi Ramos, your accidentology son. Today, we are going to talk about Sorcerer Stabber Orphan Dual Dragon Sanctuary Finale. <laughs> We're going to deep dive into that. So, keep on watching and subscribe to this channel. You can not to into guys. I know uh, there are a lot of long-time orphan fans here dating back to um, the original manga or even the original anime. So, let's deep dive now. Face. After Matt feels, okay, if you if you if you catch my drift, guys, if you've seen uh, the previous episode, dito talaga nagkasubukan ang uh, ang mga paksyon or what? Ang lumalabas sa third force pa to si Orphan Pe. Do I have complaints? Not the slightest. Okay? I'm totally satisfied with the pacing of this one. Kasi talagang aftermath yung dating niya. The pacing actually sets us up for a probable extra season for the reboot. Kasi ang daming uh, ang daming uh, scenes dito na pwedeng na pwedeng uh, that will force you to think that way. I got nothing to com I got no right to complain about the pacing of this episode. Talagang aftermath siya. Kasi sabi mo na, yeah, it was a decent finale because of the pacing. Ito ko naman. First gear shift was uh, for me a no-brainer. Well, nung nagkita uli sila Cleo at Corgon who goes now by the name of Sanctum. Why did I call this a gear shift? Kasi nag-cross na naman ang landas ng mga uh, ng, ng magkalabal technically. For me, this was the gear shift that triggered the finale. Although na magkasunungan, magkasunungan ang dahilan nila, they all, uh, they both want to see Orphan. Second gear shift. Well, another no-brainer. Orphan versus Corgon, yung fight scene nila. No-brainer right there. Dito pinakita, well, if it does come back for another season, the reboot, I mean, Dito, pinagbigay ng hint kung gaano siya ka-OP ngayon. I'm talking about Orphan. Final gear shift. Um, you can, you can, you can, you, you can, um, you can contend with me on this, but final gear shift of this, uh, of this, of this finale was when Cleo and Leggy stowed away on Orphan's book ship. Ito pa lang. Clue na eh. Matinding clue na to if the, if the reboot is coming back. Ito pa lang eh. So there's three gearships that I saw, guys. If you're not so keen on watching this finale, these three gearships will do. But don't get me wrong, guys. After math ito ng previous episode. So, you gotta watch this from start to finish to, uh, to, to get personal knowledge on where, on where everybody is at na. Most especially si Orphan. Plotwise. Maraming flashback sequences eh. Pero talagang, talagang, uh, talagang in-express eh. Because probably Studio Dean wanted us to, uh, to focus on the finale. Kasi nga, aftermath ng, ng events ng episode 11. Ang tindi na mga nangyayari hindi na mga pangyayari doon. Alright? Therefore, Malinis ang plot, guys. With the number of really quick uh, flashback sequences here, I can truly say that the, um, that the, that the plot of this finale was really clean. Talagang, hindi na alis ang focus ko sa Sa, sa finale na ito. And yeah, rightfully so kasi it is the finale. You should keep if you're if you're if you're uh, if you're an anime studio, you should keep the attention of the audience to what's happening, what is going on in the finale. If you plan to give them another season of this, yeah, you better you better you better keep their attention to this one. You better have them pay close attention to this one and that's exactly what the plot made me do. Because it was that clean. So, face forward plot. 
Yo, okay, the girl for this finale, folks. I could not say, but it's one of the best finales this season. Pero it gave us, um, it made us raise questions as to as to uh, when uh, the reboot will be coming back. So, Sorcerer Sabre Orphan Dual Dragon Sanctuary finale. Teaser. Two thumbs up!